Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, let me show you how to transfer your Google Photos to PenDrive. Now the first thing that you need to do is to go to your Google Photos. So if you have uploaded this on your phone, you can also access this on your PC or your device by going into photos.google.com on any browser to your liking. Go ahead and sign into your account and then just go ahead and locate the photos that you want to go ahead and download. So say for example, I want to download these three so I can select this or I can select them individually like this. And then on this section here, you should be able to see the more options. So go ahead and click on this and then you can go ahead and click download right here. So if you go ahead and click download, it will go ahead and download the files into some form of a zip file right here. Or if you have multiple photos that you want to go ahead and download. So say for example, you have months or years of photos, then to go ahead and select all of this, you can go ahead and use Google Takeout. So what you need to do is to go into takeout.google.com right here where all this does is it allows you to go ahead and select all of the data that you have. But the data that we want to go ahead and download here would be our Google Photos. So we need to go ahead and click deselect here because this will include every single data that you have on your Google services. And then we're going to scroll down until we can go ahead and find Google Photos right here. So go ahead and click on this. So this will be all of the photos that you have on your Google Photos. And then we're going to click on next step. Now here you can go ahead and download this or send some form of link to anything right here. So this can be either your a download link via email or what it will do is it will download all of your photos and then send it into Drive or Dropbox where you can go ahead and install them. But that would go ahead and eat up all of your storage on that. But what I would usually do is I just go ahead and send a download link. So this will go ahead and create or upload and copy the photos that you have into another server where you can go ahead and download through that link itself. Now what we do next is you need to just go ahead and export this once right here and then make sure that the file type is a .zip. So if you don't know what the TGZ is, then no need to worry. We'll just keep it as .zip. Now you can go ahead and set the maximum file size here to into, you know, two gigabytes at the moment. So meaning that if you have you know, 10 gigs of data, then it will split it into five files of two gigs so that it's a lot more manageable or easier to go ahead and do. Now, once that you're happy with that, just go ahead and click on create export. And what will happen is it will send an email link to the images that has been copied for you to go ahead and download this. So I have already done this earlier on. What you will get is something like this, where you will get an email from Google Takeout. So just go ahead and click on this. And then what it has done is it has copied the Google data that we have requested which is the Google Photos itself. And then just go ahead and click download your files right here. And then click on download right here. Now this will allow you to go ahead and save this into anywhere that you want. So for you to save this into your pen drive, go ahead and stick in your pen drive into your PC itself. And then just go ahead and, you know, make changes in terms of your directory. And then you can go ahead and save your photos right there. Go ahead and click on save. And then if you go ahead and open this up right here, you should be able to see the photos that you have from your Google Photos downloaded right here. And there you go. I hope that you have found this tutorial useful. Well. See you guys next time.